the first half, Chairman Kulu Sibiya gives his honest views on the club's slow PSL start and has a special message to all Tzantzas. And the support base of Supersport United is growing as we open a schema at Tzantzas supporters branch in Mitchell's playing Cape Town. I'm Kingston Gata. I'm Tuso Pala. Happy. Happy festive season to you all. The chairman of Supersport United FC, Kolo Sibiya, reviews 2015 by giving reasons for the club's slow PSL start and revealing why he believes the launch of the multi-choice Disney Challenge was his highlight of the year. He further explains what's happening at the academy and has a special message to our Tzatzantas at home. This has been a very, very, very uh, difficult season for, for, for the club, Supersport United Football Club. Very difficult season indeed. We started on a very slow pace. Unlike the previous years when we started on like a house on fire and we collected maximum points at the beginning. This time around we really, really, really battled and we started slowly. It's been very, very difficult for, for the club. Very difficult indeed to, to pinpoint exactly why the team has been underperforming. But I think it's always the case, I think this applies to most teams. In the pre-season, most coaches obviously prepare for the season to start. Some start very fast, some start very slow. And I think our pre-season preparation, I don't think it was probably the correct season. Uh, we didn't start very well. And the results are showing that we didn't start uh, that well. But of course, uh, I'm not uh, throwing in the towel. I know that we'll pick up. It's, it's been a tough season for us. The stop and start season affects everybody. I cannot just talk about me alone and it affects all of us. It depends on the club. How does the club adjust? In the stopping season, what preparations do you do? You, you have to, as a coach, start uh, doing certain things right and keep the players, you know, actively involved. Because if, if, if they, they, they stop, and they have to start again, definitely they get affected. So I don't know how the preparation went about in my, in my team, but indeed it affects everybody, the stop and start. The season wants to start, it must just go on until, until midway break. So yes, it does affect everybody. We're not an exception to the rule here. We did acquire very good players, I must say. We went uh, full blast to get new players. Some of course came from outside the country and then others came from the development board. So the open season, well, I'll hear from the coach whether he's, he wants to drop certain players and bring in others, but I doubt if there'll be major changes. I think if there will be changes, there'll be one or two changes that, that will okay. At this point in time, it's too early, early days to, to say exactly uh, who we're going to drop and who we're going to bring in. So I think we'll leave it as it is and, and see how it, it pans out. I am quite optimistic. We all realize we started badly. And, and I think when you come back, we'll come back more determined than we did in the first half. I think we'll do much better than we did. We can't do any worse than what we are. Currently we're lying number ninth on the, on, on the lock and, and we've never found ourselves in this kind of position before. And normally when we break, we break when we are in the top eight and even up higher, higher, you know, the top four. So yes, uh, I, I, I think um, we'll have to do much better than we have done in the past. That, in fact, is the best thing that ever happened to football in South Africa. The, the multi-choice disc challenge, I think it is the best thing, best thing that ever happened in football in this country. And some of us are very proud to see that happening because Players who can't get game time at the uh, first division Premier League, uh, they're able to keep themselves busy with the MDC position because there at least you get game time and, and the standard is very high by the way. It's not like you playing in the reserve league or something, but it's like highly competitive. I've seen some of the top players who can't get game time playing there and you could see they take that league very seriously. And I think that's the best thing that ever happened to football in this country. My academy actually has been very, very pleasing indeed. You can actually see the results. Some of the players now that the coach has brought to the first division come from the academy. The academy is doing very well. It's quite a revelation because some of the players we, we saw that they have been roped in in the under 17. That shows that uh, there, is, there is much progress in the academy. 
if players can just jump quickly from the under 12, under 14, under 15, straight into the under 17 and represent the country. Some of the players that are playing now in the under 17 squad come from the academy. And uh, I counted something like six to seven players coming from the academy. Now that actually tells you that we have a very, very, very good academy. And, and that to me is quite pleasing indeed. This is a very, very important uh, season for all of us. Not just South Africans, but the whole world. The whole world celebrates this festive season. You know, December period is, 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 is one of the best seasons ever because people work very hard from the beginning of the year, right down up to uh, December, and everybody, everybody without an exception, looks forward to the festive season. What better way of celebrating Christmas by relaxing with your family, reunion with your family, you switch off completely from all the activities that you've been doing, and you concentrate on your family. You know, they say nothing beats family reunion. And you could see it changes everybody's mindset to be with your family. It's the best time of the year to celebrate. And, and to me, this is highly commendable for everybody and everybody without an exception to enjoy this festive season and, and with the family. To me, supporters are the most important people in football. People tend to forget them. They always concentrate on their own officials, on their own players, forgetting that football is made exciting and, and, and enjoyable because of the supporters. To my supporters and to the football fraternity as a whole, all those who support other clubs, please, please keep on enjoying the game of football. It's a lovely game of football. And to all of them, please enjoy a happy, a happy Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Please, and this I beg of you, don't drink and drive because that is so critical. If you are at home, please sit at home, enjoy whatever you enjoy with your family. Don't venture outside. This is a time to be with the family and enjoy it. And I hope everybody comes back after the season lovely and nicely relaxed. And I look forward to the new season of 2016. Molene Kaya ni mtawa September, ndi ni wishela i festive season M Nandi ni kuba gathe ni ngaseli ni kuba yabole. The township of Mitchell's Plain, just outside of Cape Town, is home to over 300,000 football-loving residents. The community is struggling with social issues, but Matatanta are fighting back. Skima Matatanta is giving kids an option to choose Supersport United over the trouble that can be found on these streets, and it's working. Today we're here at Mitchell Plain. Basically, we're here to service the, our supporters in Cape Town. We're looking at the Mitchell's Plain, Philippi, and uh, Stellenbosch. And uh, by so doing, we realize that now we've got the uh, Kayali just interested to open a branch as well. So basically we're pushing boundaries here and we make sure that we're growing the brand in Cape Town. This is my hometown, this is where I grew up. Um, my grandma stays 500 meters from here and my father stays 200 meters from here and you know my mother stays a kilometer. This is where I grew up you know and this is where um, my, my talent was identified. The activities that we do, we just want to keep the supporters together in Cape Town so that they can know one another. You know, it's so sad that they we only come in once here, but fortunately we'll be coming back for another game next year. And then uh, they come together, they play football together, you know, supporters match, and then to make sure that basically it's for them to know one another. The brand is growing and we can see that we've got a number of play people coming to register for their membership and others renewing. But by so doing, it looks like the brand is gonna grow and we make sure that we can, whenever we go, we try to open a branch and it's working for us. So definitely sure we're gonna push and then we say Skima Matatans. Not a lot of people will come to a place like this, you know, coming to the Cape Fletch, but yeah, well done for, for organizing such a nice tournament. Well done to see that we actually have supporters and there's different branches. You know, so hopefully as we go forward, that this can grow and can grow into something bigger. I'm very glad for Super Sport that uh, came out um, today. For the, it's very good for the community. And I feel that uh, we need this actually for, for the youngsters to, to, to keep them away from the, the, the drug lords and stuff like that. For them to, to improve their soccer skills. And um, there's a lot of guys that come from the communities that's very, very, very poor. And I feel that it's the, the input that uh, Super Sport made. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of them and I hope they will do well, in, in even 
in the in the future. This is something something from I never even uh, thought about that super sport will be coming to Cape Town and have a, some tournament for the supporters club. And for me, uh, it's, it's just uh, unbelievable. It is great, very great to uh, see that there's a team from Victoria that wants to be involved in soccer here in Cape Town. And I think we have got all the knowledge and all the players here for Super Sport United. Look, I've been here as well, as I said, now we only had Felipe as a branch, but now we have, we, we've got uh, Stellenbosch and, and, uh, and Michels playing. So we launched the two branches here. So in Cape Town now we've got three, and we, we're looking forward to increase them by another two in the next year. Hi, I'm Dean Furman from Supersport United. I'd like to wish you all a great festive season. Please be safe on the roads. Enjoy. In the second half, Kappa and Matsutanta go looking for Disky Diamonds in the rough by hosting a five-a-side tournament for undiscovered young players. And the players become Father Christmas for a day to the kids of Lea Mujetsu Safety Home in Atledgeville. I'm Betha Maselesele. I'd like to wish you a happy festive season. Ciao. Our kids spawn the cup by searching for the future stars of South African soccer. And with Matasanta and great national team players like Andre Arente and Janine van Veek, we recently hosted a five-a-side tournament that uncovered Disky Diamonds in the rough. Together with Kappa and its PSL partners, we always look at um, further developing and growing football in South Africa and we sat around a table and we decided that let's create something where we can reach out to the communities, to the amateur players and try and share the love for football. So we created an Andre Orenser clinic um, live in store and from that store we got kids walking in from townships, from rural areas, from amateur clubs, from suburbs, all over Johannesburg. And over a year's selection process, we came down to selecting 20 um, under 11 kids to partake in this event, together with the Super Sports United Soccer Schools Academy, and really just to find one or two of the greatest unseen talents out there at this stage, to have an opportunity to not only meet and interact with the PSL players, but to be able to have an opportunity to actually train next year in one of the two academies between Bidvest Wits as well as Supersport United. I think the initiative was uh, organized by Ricky and Andre. They just suddenly decided to get some kids who were coming at the Kappa store running around, and they decided, let's start advertising, let kids be found. We had the place, we had the means, no one was using it, and they advertised kids from anywhere, come in, bring your boots, and let's see if you can play. And it's been quite amazing. Very little advertising, bit on brochures handed out, bit on Facebook, and we've had an amazing response. There are kids here that can play football that have never been to a club. And we hope to take this nationwide. We've got Coltrane on hand, we've got Andre on hand, Janine van Weyck, the guys have brought some of the Bafana Bafana players here and this is what kids dream of. So hopefully next year we take this nationwide. It's my first time doing this, but uh, obviously as a footballer, I like good football and I've seen some decent players. So we're trying to select the, the better ones, you know, who are doing well, good technique, I mean, awareness as well. Obviously we're trying to build the brand and it is important, but somebody needs to unearth these kids. I think South Africa's got the talent, but a lot of these kids are not being found because the parents haven't got the money or the means or they don't know where to take them. So we are a football brand. We are building our brand in this country and I believe there's no better place than to build it with the kids. 
players have got tremendous talent, something which I didn't expect as well in terms of technique, dribbling, awareness. I mean, they have a couple of players, but unfortunately we have to select two, even though we've seen so many players doing well. It's mind-blowing. I mean, there's some kids where they can keep up a ball probably longer than some of the PSL players. There's goalkeepers behind me that fall more professionally than some of the PSL goalkeepers in the, in the league today. So I'm amazed. I think if you look at everyone around and the, the atmosphere and everyone who's watching, the level of football for a 10-year-old type player has been amazing. And I believe we could maybe find our next superstar. It was really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. We're not going to the finals, but I still had a lot of fun. What I learned today is always stay with Team Mark. If we didn't play with Team Mark, we would have lost badly. But now we play Team Mark, we won 4-3. The second match, we won 3-2. We were about to lose, but we still won. If we didn't play Team Mark, we should have not got what we achieved. It was great. I enjoyed it. I played well. But like, the first two games, I didn't play well. But I'm proud of the last one. It was great. It was a great experience. And everyone liked it, I'm sure. And um, Everyone played well and I loved it. Oh, it's wonderful. It's just so exciting for them and it's such an opportunity. And I'm honestly amazed at the level of talent that these kids display. Um, it's, just, it's just a fantastic opportunity for them to play against other players like this. I think this initiative that Kappa is, is doing is something really great. Not many people do that. Such brands like Kappa has come in and they all for youth development, you know, and it's something great to see because that is our future stars and we need to get these, these players to come out and showcase their talents and show what they are really made of and give them opportunity to maybe go to the likes of Vits and Super Sports for them to showcase what they are really made of. So um, not many of these boys get the opportunity at, at that level to show what, what they can do. So uh, initiatives like these are, are something special and the boys here today are really working hard and, and uh, showing what they, they, they can do and um, they just want to be the best, you know, so it's, it's good to, have, to be an ambassador of, of, of Kappa. I'm really, really proud to be here and excited for these young boys. This is very much important, especially for us South Africans, you know, must have such initiative everywhere, you know, in Soweto, in each and every province must have this, you know, so that players, they will be involved in soccer at an early stage so that I mean, we prepare them for Afana Afana. These are the, are the future stars. The ultimate goal is obviously to reach into areas where South Africa as a football nation is not reaching. The talent that the guys are seeing here today is unparalleled to talent I've personally seen at this age group. And kids don't know where to be seen. And it was just a further platform to try and find, even if it's another magical story where the one or two kids that are selected here and go train in the Super Sports United Academy and the Bitvest Fits Academy. And please God, in five years, we, we're watching them on a PSL platform saying it all started here. So that's really what it's about. Mina David Matebula, midfielder Super Sport. I'm a festive season. I'm a driver. I'm a I'm a patron. Liamukhetu in Setswana means you are all welcome. And that's exactly how the AT kids at the Liamukhetu Safety Home in our home Kasi of Atrechville make us feel every time we visit them to either bring new school books, celebrate Easter, or as we did in December, bring presents to wish our special kids a very merry Matatanta Christmas. We are at the Liamukhetu Home, the home that is, has been associated with Super Sport United for quite some time now. Uh, we usually come around here during the December period where we hand out gifts to the kids and uh, just bring some cheer to some of them because as you know, uh, it's a season of giving and most of them don't get this opportunity where they get people coming out and handing them gifts. And this is something that Supersport has been doing, as I've said, for quite some time now. And uh, it was good to come out here and see some of the kids being happy and seeing some of the players come out really meant a lot to the kids. We had the first team players taking some time out of their busy schedule to spend some time with the kids. It's something that is really appreciated by the people here at La Mokhotze Home. Um, it's a special place for Super Sport United. Uh, we've really been uh, happy being associated with them and we're hoping that this is a relationship that will go on for many years to come. We had jumping castles, we had some uh, a slide where the kids really enjoyed it, it was a favorite amongst them. Uh, we had food that we gave out to the kids after uh, playing around. They needed something in their stomach, so we had food 
that was organized by a catering company. Uh, we had ice cream, which is also a favorite amongst the kids. Um, yeah, we had a lot of today and we're hoping that you know the kids uh, appreciated something that uh, came from Super Sports United. Yeah, yeah, it's been a good day. Enjoying the time, giving presents to the kids. It's always a privilege to come and help the kids that they don't have much like us. So I think it's a better way of coming back and giving back to the, to the kids. Yeah, plus uh, being it uh, the time of the year, you know, Christmas time, it's time for giving. So, you know, as Super Sport, we came here to give presents to the young kids, to, them, to make them feel special, you know, just to make their year. It's always a good feeling to be able to give back, you know, to the less fortunate, you know, and uh, this is obviously the festive season, you know, it's a season of giving back. So I really feel good, you know, and I hope that they appreciate our presence, you know. Hopefully it's not the last time that we'll come back here. I did it last year and it's a great experience. I mean, coming to see all these kids obviously don't have a lot and uh, just to give them a small gift, you put a smile on their face. Uh, yeah, it really gives us a good feeling and uh, obviously they leave here happy as well, which is really cool. Yeah, I think that's what it's all about, is putting uh, coming here and seeing the big smiles on their faces. And um, it's, it's an honour to be here and it's very re rewarding for us players. And um, like I said, to see a big smile on a kid's face and, and see them make their day, um, it makes me it makes me very happy myself and, and uh, yeah I love it love doing these things. Yeah, it's great to come down here today. Um, we've given a load of presents to the kids. Our catering staff have been uh, we've been lucky enough for them to bring some food down for the kids, and it's uh, amazing for us to see some smiles on the faces, especially at this time of year. And uh, we know these kids um, are in a local community to our stadium over here, and uh, it's great to come and see the smiles on their faces when we give them their Christmas presents. This is very important for us as a football club to be here, to do something like this for the kids. Um, as you know, the kids here at La Mujetsu are the kids who don't have parents, and uh, they really don't get much. So Super Sports United coming out and giving them this, it means a lot to them, and it's very something that is important to us as a football club. It's a, it's a long-lasting relationship. It's something that we're hoping to continue doing, giving out gifts, giving out stationery, giving out clothes, giving out food, something that they desperately need and something that they don't get from outsiders, but they can be rest assured is something that they will get from Super Sports United. Yeah, it's a special time. Also, these guys around us, they, they, they are welcome also like, they like to be around kids and they feel like connecting to the kids and it's nice to see that as also to us our players, I think you must do this often. Yeah, and it means a lot, you know, being uh, these kids, you know, sitting with the likes of Kingston Gata, you know, yeah. it means a lot to them, you know, it's something special to them, doesn't make them feel special. Just doing the smallest things can have, make the biggest impact, I mean, you see the smile that, that, like, just a small little present gave them, I mean, yeah. they take the joy out of the tiny things, and I think that you can rub off on, on a lot of people, I mean, they, they don't need a lot to make them smile, and uh, so it's great to come out here and have a day like this and sort of humble you a bit. Yeah, we're, we're obviously very lucky to be doing what we do, and... Uh, for me, doing things like this is, is part of, part of our, what, we, what we should be doing as a job and it's very re rewarding and th this for me is better than, than playing, playing a game on a weekend for sure. I'm very much happy with the turnout. The first team players came out in their numbers and um, they very much enjoy being here. And one thing that we really appreciate it, it's not only for the players coming out and handing out gifts, but it's really for the players coming out, investing their time, spending time with the kids straight after handing out gifts, mingling with the kids, sharing some of the love with the kids. So that's something that was really much appreciated. Let's wish you all a happy If you'd like to get in touch with Supersport United and follow all the latest tweets, log on to twitter.com forward slash supersportfc. Don't forget to log on to our website www.sufc.co.za for all the latest news and updates on your favorite team, Matatanza.